Restricting access to S3 buckets can be done with both identity-based policies and resource-based policies. And it might be difficult for beginners to understand which policy to use. However, it's always recommended to use resource-based policy. There might be cases when identity-based policies might be the options. In this video, we are going to talk about when to use identity-based policies to restrict access to your S3 buckets and when to use resource-based policies. All right, so without further ado, let's start. To manage access to AWS services other than Amazon S3 buckets, it's recommended that you utilize IAM policies for centralized management of permissions. By using fewer IAM policies, you can effectively manage the various permissions required for your multiple Amazon S3 buckets rather than defining a large number of individual bucket policies. This approach enables you to maintain a more streamlined and manageable access control policy environment in the IAM. Now let's talk about when you should use resource-based policies to restrict access to your S3 bucket. First of all, Without utilizing IAM roles, you must provide cross-account authorizations to other AWS accounts or users located in different accounts. Secondly, IAM policy has a size limit. So if you worried about the size of your IAM policy, you can go with resource-based policies for your S3 buckets. You can also go with resource-based policies for your S3 bucket if you want to maintain and keep your access policies within Amazon S3 environment. Finally, resource-based access policy for S3 bucket is a good way to guarantee that regress access control is implemented for confidential data stored in a particular bucket and you don't want to wish to unintentionally allow unauthorized users to access it through IAM policies. All right, so these are the some reasons why you should go for resource-based policy to restrict your S3 buckets from unauthorized access. All right, so that's all. Thank you.